The Harris campaign's media strategy has, has backfired immensely, enormously, tragically from their perspective. And more importantly, the Democrat Party's coup that, you know, they ousted Joe Biden with unceremoniously, coronating Kamala Harris as their, their purported candidate, is backfiring, too. She's not a candidate. You know, this is not a good campaign. And, and now the, the party, the Democrat Party, knows it, and, and they're completely panicking. We are here with uh, tonight's squad. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we jump right in? Now, uh, Tiana, a lot going on here. But it, uh, it's all looking bad for the Democrats right now, isn't it? Yeah, you need to remember, Republicans have not cracked double-digit support with black voters this century. So even though Harris has literally almost tripled the Democratic support among white college-educated voters, and especially white college-educated women, at the same time, you have New York Times Siena, which is the top-grade pollsters coming out with polls of black and Hispanic voters. She is losing the majority of Hispanic men. Hispanic men overwhelmingly support Trump, they overwhelmingly have a negative opinion of her, and they overwhelmingly support building the wall, which was an interesting finding. But also, she's running 20 points behind Joe Biden's margin with black voters under 30. One in five black men, poll after poll after poll, are showing willingness to vote for Trump. That is a demographic coalition shattering situation for the party. And her response, she came out today with her opportunity care economy, you know, magic eight ball for black men. Mm -hmm. And two of the five planks are recreational pot legalization and further crypto regulation. Mm -hmm. It's floundering. She has nothing because she can't differentiate herself from Biden. She can't say reversing remain in Mexico was a catastrophic failure. She can't say, yes, we dropped the ball. So all she has to go on is attack Trump this, Trump that, opportunity economy, free stuff, and legal weed. Now, uh, Rob Louie, if you're going to legalize pot, that should come with free beer and chips, shouldn't it? <laughs> Chris, I think what Tiana said is, 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 is exactly right. The American people recognize that the four years that they lived under Donald Trump, they were better off economically, their personal finances were, were improving. They've seen what the last three and a half years has been. She can't differentiate herself from Joe Biden or can't state any policy differences in how she would do things differently. Naturally, Hispanic men, black men, all, young people in particular has been another group that has been surprising, they are going to gravitate to the candidate who they think will deliver a better personal situation for them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this election is going to come down to the economy, the cost of living, crime, immigration, all those issues. It's not mm -hmm. going to be about abortion and democracy, as the Democrats have told us. Now, Hilton 